In this video, we're going to take a look at functions and procedures for our GCSE computer science. So first things first, subroutines. So a subroutine is an algorithm that performs a very specific task. A subroutine has to be called to be run, so it's not necessarily part of the normal flow of a larger program. And you can use a subroutine as many times as necessary. Now, when you have a subroutine, usually in actual programming you're using a function or a procedure. And in the exam it can be interchangeably used, they might say subroutine, they might say procedure, they might say function. They might give you a subroutine and you may need, may need to actually say whether or not it is a function or a procedure. So use a procedure when you don't want data returned. So for example, it might just do something, it might output some sound, uh, a piece of text, or it might you know, save something to a database but you don't actually get anything in response. And use a function when you do want data. So it might be a calculation and it returns a value. So it might add up two numbers and give you the result. So functions are useful as it saves you typing the same thing over and over again. So I know this is not a fantastic, fantastically long um, example, but adding two numbers up and outputting the total, instead of doing that, you might have a function that actually returns two numbers added up. So you don't have to store your variables, you can just go right. Number six, number two is four, output, calculate, and it does the maths for you. So instead of you typing out all these calculations and formulas over and over and over again, you can just call calculate and it'll do that for you. So procedures again, this is a very similar thing. So you could do, you know, a normal routine where you just output into the name, input a name, you might add it to a database or an array or something like that, and you type lots of, lots of data. Instead of you typing this out a million times, you could just have a function, a uh, procedure, sorry, that does, that creates an account called create account, and you just go right, type create account, uh, put the name in, put a date of birth, and it's done. So it'll look really nice and clean your program instead of you typing the same thing over and over again. Now there's two types of variables we're referring to when we're talking about functions and procedures. You have global variables and local variables. A global variable is a variable that has global scope, which means it can be used in any part of the program. Whereas a local variable is a variable which is declared within a function or a procedure, or it could be passed into the function or procedure, and it can only be accessed within that local area. So here we've got, a little, we've got two, uh, two little uh, subroutines. We've got a procedure and a function. So you see, we've got var1 right at the top is declared, which is a global variable, so we can use that in function one or main, but var2 only exists within main and var3 and 4 only exist within function one. So I couldn't then in main call var3 or use var4 and the same with in function one I couldn't use var2 but I could use var1 throughout the whole program. So next we need to look at parameter passing. So parameter passing is the idea of passing data between subroutines. Now it's necessary because some variables that we use are local and so they can't be seen by other functions or other subroutines. So we can pass parameters by value or by reference. So by value is where you literally just take whatever's inside the variable, make a copy of it and you put it into the function or procedure. Now changes to the value don't actually change the original variable. So even if you do loads of maths on it, the original variable that you've passed in will stay the same. Whereas if you do it by reference, you pass almost like a link, it's a reference, it's like a pathway to the real variable. So that means if you actually change something to that variable, it'll actually change the main variable as well. So here's some examples. So I've got, in the first example, I've got a procedure which is going to increment the variable and then it's going to do it by value. So it does number one and it equals number plus one. Now, this original number one here won't actually change because we've done it by value so we just copy this 10 and put it in there but we're not actually changing this number one we're changing this number one within the same procedure whereas this one because we're doing it by reference this will actually take the number one and it'll use the same number and add one to it so this would, wouldn't result in 11 but this one would result in 11. And nice, quick and simple one, hopefully that helped. You understand the difference between functions and procedures. So remember, functions return a value, procedures do not. Thanks for watching, please press subscribe and I will see you in the next video.